Hi, and welcome to another episode of Caleb's Trains. Uh, today is the start of the NFL season. Well, at least the NFL season that we care about. I know Thursday was uh, kind of the start, if that was a football game. Uh, I'm still trying to figure that one out. Go um, Steelers! Yeah, go Steelers, though, because we open up against the Patriots today. Boo. Yeah, boo. Anyway, um, eh, another good news, Antonio Brown is now a Patriot. I know. I just don't get it. Anyway, I'm glad that we don't get disappointed with trains. So, That being said, uh, this weekend uh, we celebrated Caleb's birthday. Happy birthday to me. Yeah, and Caleb got something cool that he wants to show everyone. So he's going to do a little uh, description of his newest uh, uh, thing for the train set. And I um, hope everyone's um, having a good time. And uh, I know summer's quickly coming to an end. But um, enjoy uh, the last few nice days we got. And um, if you're uh, near the hurricane, we hope that uh, you're being safe. Um, and uh, our thoughts go out to those uh, dealing with that um, stay safe out there and um, other than that I think we're just gonna get right to it what do you think mm -hmm. yeah you got anything you want to say about football anything I don't know I Life? have three things to say okay let's hear them go Steelers I like that one happy birthday to me <laughs> like that one too and happy railroading. All right. All right, well, let's get to this new thing he's got, so uh, let's do it. All right, we're back. And now this is the train car that I got for my birthday. It is the Union Pacific Steam Program uh, boxcar. This one's got the lighted LED uh, stars in the flag. Um... And it's the number is uh, UP four dash eight dash eight dash four, which is the wheel arrangement of the big boy. Absolutely. Now this car is really really nice. Um, seeing it in the catalog and now seeing it in person, it's. Uh, I, I don't know. What do you think, Caleb? Oh my gosh! It's just so cool. There's so many details on it that, like, all of our other cars that we have don't have. No, that's true. Um, I don't know. Start out with uh, it's got um, operating knuckle couplers at both ends, um, which is, I mean, that's standard on any uh, old gauge uh, cars now. But this one has, and this is the first car that we have that has the rotating bearing caps on the wheels which is so cool um, to see them they actually turn as it goes down the tracks um, it's cool uh, we don't have any like that this is our first one okay let's go see if I can get in on that a little bit showing up but uh, trust us yeah, actually they're actually spinning it's really cool mm -hmm. uh, the trucks themselves are really 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 nice um, really nicely detailed the spring details for the shocks are really nice now they're not really uh, sprung um, they're simulated but those are real springs that are in it um, they roll. They're, it's a heavy box car. It's got got some weight to it. It rolls really, really nicely um, over uh, switches and stuff like that. It it it's it's a nice. It's a really nice box car. Um, everything on it is really nice. The paint is flawless. Um, all the graphics, the the um, flag looks beautiful really does all the little uh, information that it has on there um, all your plaque it's got a placard kind of um, this would be a build plate for the box car itself um, what's really cool about it is it has the steam program 
uh, and the three steam locomotives uh, that Union Pacific uh, has. Which um, is the 4884 Big Boy 4014, mm -hmm. the 4664 Challenger 3985, and the 484 FEF3 844. Mm-hmm. And that's... Uh, that's really cool. It's really nice. Um, looks great. Uh, you got the big Union Pacific uh, emblem, the shield. Looks really awesome. Uh, the doors uh, are they slide open. Um, you know, and on inside on the inside there, it has like a textured floor. Uh, I don't know how well. Let's see, make that a little bit. Let's see, you can see in there. It's kind of like a grid pattern, and it's got um, uh, perforation in it. Uh, looks really, really cool. It's a nice little added detail there. Um, it could have just been smooth, and I think everyone still would have been just as happy with it. Um, when you open the door, uh, it's got a little, a little handle here, which is really nice um, to see that. Yep, right there. Very fragile. Um, mm -hmm. I wouldn't uh, mess with it too much. It's really, really thin and uh, delicate detail, but it, it's really cool. Um, doors open and shut real nicely. Um, both sides of the box car are the same, so we're just really showing this side. The other side is basically exactly the same. Uh, you have uh, separately applied. And they look separately applied. Um, ladders on all four corners uh, you got the, the step at the bottom here yep. down at the bottom it's gray yep. and then on the end we're going to swing around to the end here and there you go. this end is really cool because it has the brake wheel which is separately applied right underneath it it has an actual real chain if you can see that right there Caleb's moving it that is so cool normally that would just be like um, cast in and uh, that's a real chain really really nice little added touch you got some added added on details there you got your ladder you got the looks like a brake bar I think across the way I could be wrong another ladder there added on and then at the underneath you have like a little uh, platform which is perforated underneath that cable yep and it's actually got uh, the perforated holes uh, the drain holes in it it's uh, really nice really nice detail and at the top it's got the UP4884 number um, really nice um, the top is basic you know I guess there's not really a whole lot of detail you can to do to the tops um, other than that this end is almost identical so it does not have the brake wheel but all the rest of the details are there I, I really like that platform on the end mm -hmm. it's very I nice see-through I don't think any of any other cars that we have have that. Yeah, I think, so. I think this is our only car. That it is, and um, it's really nice. Um, uh, if you guys, anyone is interested in one of these, um, if you're a fan of the Union Pacific, especially their steam program, this is like a must. It is so nice. Um, underneath too. Um, I was going to show the detail underneath, but it's fully detailed. Um, let's see here if I can see, but it's got your air tanks, it's got the compressor, the air lines, the compressor, um, brake line details. Uh, it's really nice. I mean, it's got two pickup uh, rollers. Each truck has a pickup roller. It's really nice to keep power going through the LEDs which some people probably are gonna be like well they really don't light up that well and this and that and I mean the stars are small 
but they do they light up. Um, it's easier to see with the lights uh, dimmed or off. And here in a minute, Caleb's going to run the train, his uh, all Union Pacific train, and he's going to show uh, how well they do light up. So, hope everyone enjoyed uh, this review. Ah, there's one more thing we oh, didn't say. What? What? Tell me. Right here on the truck, there is a very tiny brake pedal. There's a little oh, the brake pad. Sh the yeah, brake shoes. Shoe. Yeah. Brake shoe. Which is also really nice. That's a Sorry, I missed that one, okay, Caleb. Good job. Good thing I remembered. Yep. And, uh, yeah, that's that's another neat little uh, detail. And I don't think any of our other uh, freight cars have that. Um, I could be wrong, but I don't think so. They might. Maybe it just shows up so much better because it's silver. Sure. But, yeah, I know our other big boy box car, that double door one, does not have that. Um... So that's cool. So, that being said, I um, hope you enjoyed this video and Caleb's review of his new box car. Um, so he's going to put it in the uh, train here and we're going to run it around so you can see it in action.